Hey everyone, Technomancer with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and activate an eSIM on your iPhone 16 Pro Max. And this method can be applied on any iPhone that supports the eSIM. So let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead into your setting on your iPhone. From there on, you're going to see an option that says cellular. So you're going to click on cellular. And if you don't have a cellular setup, it's going to look like this. Now, you might already have it set up if you got the phone from a carrier or if you move things over. But if you didn't and you need to set up cellular, you simply can do that by clicking on set up cellular. Now, once you click on set up cellular, two things can happen here. If you have a phone that already has service on it that you're moving over, you can basically bring it near this one and click on transfer from nearby iPhone and it will allow you to click on transfer phone number, basically the phone service onto this phone if you wanted to do it that way. And that's going to be the simplest way to move your eSIM from existing device. Now, if you don't have it on existing device or if you're setting it up for the very first time, if you got a new carrier, most carriers that support eSIM will give you a QR code and you click on the QR code and the QR code is going to look something like this, right? And all you're going to do is point your camera to the QR code and then it will begin setting up that information. Now, if you see something like this where it's not valid because this eSIM is just an example eSIM, it's not working. But if once you click on it, it will just automatically set it up for you. All you can do is if you didn't want to have a QR code like this one, you can use the details that are going to be given to you, like this information from your phone carrier. They'll provide it in that. Either usually they'll email it to you or give it to you over the phone or in store if you're setting it up. And that information, such as the address, activation code, and confirmation, will allow you to set it up if the East, if the QR code for some reason wasn't working. But the QR code is going to be the most simplest way to activate an eSIM card. So that's how you activate an eSIM card on your iPhone 16 Pro Max. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.